you're muted, or are you? Video conferencing apps may listen even when your mic is off. According to Jason Daly, University of Wisconsin-Madison, on Tech Explorer, Kasim Fawaz's brother was on video conference when the microphone muted. When he noticed that the microphone light was still on, indicating inexplicably that his microphone was being accessed. Alarmed, he asked Fawaz, an expert in online privacy and an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, to look into the issue. Fawaz, a graduate student, you can Yang investigating whether this mic off light on phenomenon was more widespread. They tried out many different video conferencing applications on major operating systems, including iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, checking to see if the app still accessed the microphone when it was muted. It turns out, in the vast majority of cases, when you mute yourself, these apps do not give up access to the microphone, says Fawaz. And that's a problem. When you're muted, people don't expect these apps to collect data. After their initial testing, Fawaz and Yang, along with colleagues from Loyola University of Chicago, conducted a more formal investigation of just what happens when video conferencing software microphones are muted. They will present their results at the Privacy Enhancing Technology Symposium in July. First, the team conducted a user study asking 223 video conferencing apps users how they understand the function of the mute button and how they think it should handle auto data, audio data. While the participants were split about whether they thought the chat applications were accessing their microphones when muted, most believe that the apps should not be able to collect data while set to mute. For the second part of the study, the team investigated the actual behavior of the mute button on many popular apps, determining that what type of data is collected and whether it could reveal personal information. They used runtime binary analysis tools to trace raw audio in popular video conferencing applications as the audio traveled from the app to the computer audio driver and then to the network while the app was muted. They found that all of the apps they tested occasionally gather raw audio data while mute is activated with one popular app gathering information and delivering data to its server at the same time regardless of whether the microphone is muted or not. The researchers then decided to see if they could use data collected on the mute from that app to infer the types of activities taking place in the background. Using machine learning algorithms, they trained an activity classifier using audio from YouTube videos representing six common background activities, including cooking and eating, playing music, typing, and cleaning. Applying the classifier to the type of telemetry package packets the apps was sending, the team could identify the background activity with an average of 82% accuracy. When you're cooking, the acoustic signature is different from someone who is driving or watching a video, says Fawaz. So these types of activities can be distinguished just based on this acoustic fingerprint that was actually sent out to the cloud. Whether or not the data is being accessed or used, the findings raise privacy concerns, obviously. With a camera, you can turn it off or even put out your hand over it. And no matter what you do, no one can see you, says Fawaz. I don't think this exists for microphones. Turning off a microphone is possible in most device operating systems, but it usually means navigating through several men menus. And instead, the team suggests the solution might lie in developing easily accessible software switches or even hardware switches that allow users to manually enable and disable their microphones. This is by University of Wisconsin-Madison. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.